Hello guys, welcome once again to Tech Mastery Hub. It's your guy Oladiji. On today's episode, I'll be taking us through how to master constants in Laravel. This is going to be a guide on how to define and use PHP constants. It's going to be an interesting session. So try and um, stay to the end as I'll share my screen and walk us through how to do this practically. Don't forget that Tech Mastery Hub is your go-to place for code crafts. Those things that are not usually talked about on um, programming, data analytics, and all such related texts. That's what we delve on here. Welcome as you join me. So now I'm sharing my screen. I have defined, now this is Laravel, okay? Under my app folder, I've created a file called constants, constant.php. So you can see my declarations, typically starting with some PHP at the top. Now, this is a preset countries, constant that I have created already. All the countries of the world that I can lay my hands on were defined in this constant. And don't forget, you always close it with this brace. Okay, now let's create our own from scratch. Of course, when we're creating a constant, it starts with um, const, okay, as you can see here. So now I'm creating a constant called um, gender. Okay, look at the syntax when you're creating a, a, a constant in the constant um, file constant gender equals you know open and close the brace don't forget to end up everything with a semicolon now you define the constants you are, you want to set in place don't let us forget that constants are variables that remains just as the name implies constant they are not going to change okay and that's why we're defining them here. You will understand more of that you know, as we proceed. So here I've defined a constant for gender, the male, the female, you know, and in, on the unknown in our own case. Now look at that syntax carefully again. Const defines the name you're giving, you know, your constant, and you set what it's equal to. Open and close with a square brace and um, bracket okay and you terminate everything with a semicolon now i've defined this a key being equal to its value that's the concept here okay a key pointing to its value and for each line of constants you are defining you put a colon i mean a comma before you proceed to the next and on and on like that okay so defining a constant is as simple as what i just did right here now this is a blade you know where our user interface is being created for example now look at where how that constant we defined is being called the one we have already now you know we have a constant a constant set with many values because we are calling out all those values now we are using for each do you understand now app slash constant points us back to the folder where we're calling the file you get it now you can see this double colon there before the our constant name countries in the upper example here now i'm creating um, um a fresh one for the gender we just um created in our own case here right now so that we'll see it firsthand how it works Okay, so typically my div, my select, because I want to spool out a value of the gender I just created. So that's why I'm doing all this now. So just watch as I proceed with the steps. These are typical, you know, HTML you know, syntax. So this is not the key point here yet. But just follow as I do it. So haven't created our constant in a constant file we're calling it up on a form that's what we're doing right here now 
So since I'm calling it up in a form, I want it to come out in a select, right? So now just look this the now where no before we go there, just let's let's do this. On a normal day, we would have done it one by one. You know, male, female, this is simple. But what if we were doing for such a country, you know, values? How many countries would we list, you know, here? It's lengthy. That, and that means everywhere we're using country in as many modules as we have, we'll be defining it like this. These are some of the reasons we define our constants in a table where we can reference. Now we're referencing it. Okay, so since there are many values, we're going to call each of them to be spooled out here. So for each, okay, and don't forget since um, this is Laravel, this is the syntax for using um, for each within at for each and we end it with um at end for each okay now i'm referencing the file location of the constant that was defined okay uh, i have deliberately put in an a mistake there let's see if you can catch it before i go back and correct it or just watch Okay, so I've referenced my constant and as, as I have defined it as a key, which is being pulled out into items, okay? Now my options, now you know, since I'm spooling it out, I'm spooling out my constants from a defined place, the option box will be one here because remember the for each is going to repeat it for as many values as exist. So here now, option I'm pointing to rather than saying maybe male as the mm value, the, that will be the key here. Okay, and um, the item in our own case, male is referencing male, so it's still male male, you know. You get it. So now back to our points, you know, just to avoid um, repetition from the countries on at the top, I'm changing this to gender. So we're pulling it out at gender so that, you know, we have a different variable name in this case, just for you to be clear about it. Now the double braces I'm using here, if you're familiar with Laravel, is a way of saying echo in Laravel. Okay, so now what I've done is going to spool out the values of our variable, right? The values of our constant variable. But don't forget, we call we, what we're doing here is gender, not country. That's the mistake I wanted you to identify. Okay, and you remember we wrote our gender in capital letters, so it has to be exact. Do you understand? Look at how we defined it, gender. Okay, and Look at what we're defining here. Do we get it? So that's how we would have called it up. Now let's look at one more example so that it syncs proper. Let's define another constant and call it call it um, status. Say maybe a status of you know any situation. This an abstract scenario now. Say maybe true or false whereas true we'll call it maybe something that's active and false something that is inactive okay so i'm repeating this process of creating the constant so that it will really you know register in our brain is the same thing as what we have just done with the gender okay now that i've called it now the point i'm trying to make in this second example is it's slightly different in the gender male reference to male right in this case i'm referencing something else you know with another value do you get it so the key is not exactly the same value this is just to show you that it can be anything in this case i'm using a boolean right so a boolean is set to be inactive or in um, active or inactive okay I don't know if we're getting um, the point here. 
but now this is just that syntax whatever your key will always be whatever your values will always be so true here is set to inactive All right so let's go on okay hope we're following it Now, just for you to understand clearly, I'm making a note here, right? Just to re-emphasize what I have done. So here, the Boolean true and false in this case are the keys. It could be one and zero rather than true or false. Okay, but whichever one we choose to use, let's stick to it. That's the first thing I want us to understand there, right? Now, let's move on and get some more clarity with our comments. Um, so, what's scenarios can we use this um status example for for example in this we could use it you know to define a constant that could be used in any you know status of anything um, a status could be you know maybe an employee is active or terminated a status could be maybe an asset an asset database is functional or non-functional you know or sold or damaged you know any such thing so these are some of those um, things we could use this for now i deliberately use this status example now so that um, we understand where the key and the value points comes in when we're defining a constant so i want us to i want to believe um we understand it perfectly now okay so since we get it remember who the name we declared now let's go back here if we're going to call this now we have seen how we called up you know our gender constants where it's applicable in our form now just for the sake of demonstration this is not exactly applicable here if we're going to call up the status constant we just defined we could do something like this now remember i'm in a laravel blade so i may have to call php by its name so at php and end at php is the typical way to go about this so now i will declare some further variables that will point to you know the key ones okay so just follow my steps just to illustrate um, what our statuses could be like. Okay. So uh, I'm declaring that status to come into active or inactive, you know, and setting them as what could be. Remember true was set to be active and um false was set to be inactive this is just a vague um, example so now you will i will leave a loop here just to get us to find out individually if we really understand this i have left out something in this column i'm creating right now i leave it for you as an assignment to find out okay tell me what's going to be generated as an error when we run this php path that's calling up the status okay so here um i could define a user state status okay and set it as a temporary value as true or perhaps it's something that is going to change dynamically do you understand so when i echo 
or call up our status this is what happens do you get so whatever it has changed to dynamically is being called up so and many other such ways like that but bottom line defining a constant is as straightforward as what we saw on the constant page and here you can see because i'm calling up that app constant you know look at the top of the page i'm not referencing anything you see this is where we're calling it from constant.php you know this is our constants defined but back here i'm not really referencing it up why because here app.constant has referenced it app.constant has referenced you know this also everywhere i call every constant do you understand um, the app.constant in this case is just like um, what do you call it where we're working from so figure out what in this highlighted part of the last part figure out what i left out and what could generate an error now as we're rounding up on this let's quickly take note of a few things in php a constant is a variable don't let us forget that okay it's a variable that the value will not be changed when it is set that is why it is called a constant that's the number one thing i want us to take very good note of okay the number two thing is the constants okay okay just read as i'm typing are you with me okay so because when we use a constant why you we use a constant you know it will make our codes readable you understand rather than you know the clumsiness for example you want to loop through these whole countries it's make it readable now finally let's see the output of what we have generated you can see there's the so finally this is the output of what we have created you can see the pull down of the gender you can see that of the country you know based on our definition now just imagine how clumsy that code would have been if we had not defined it in a constant but then on the other hand on the output it came out as it should be even if we had not used a, a constant so that's the usage and the out I mean, the eventual result of um using a constant okay so thank you guys for joining me once again that is the scribe and share tech mastery hub is where we do this always don't forget join us again next time next week see you